thinking about infinity is like that. It is great training for thinking about confusing concepts. It's about touching the paradoxes and aiming for clarity. What should I do with a frozen rose? It's massive, of course. So if you just slightly ignore the fact that trains rate costs 1.3 million, it takes the entire economy down, everybody hates it, then actually train strikes are very good opportunities to avoid derailed trains. AI is just nerd speak for artificial intelligence, which is just nerd speak for making computers smart. So what's brilliant about this group uh, is that this year the people really, really had their story straight when they came to the workshop and then we only had to fine tune every story. But that worked out so great. They all uh, developed their stories really well. They all made sure the, the end was the same as the beginning or there were really great jokes. And that's why Peter won, of course, because it was jokes, 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 jokes and still scientifically accurate. Basically, with a time machine, the past and the future would become the ultimate holiday destinations. And so while your friends might still go to the Costa del Sol for their holidays, you could go and hunt dinosaurs, drink champagne on the Titanic, welcome Columbus when he first set foot on the shores of America with a big techno party, or even piss off God Almighty by getting the Virgin Mary pregnant before he had a chance to do so. <laughs> I decided to take part in this science slam uh, because I think it's a really important uh, event for scientists. I think it's, it's crucial that scientists don't lock themselves up in their ivory tower doing research, but that they also get out in the streets and, and, and tell everybody about science and how, how passionate it can be.